All right, so it is August, and LEGO's coming out with a ton of brand new sets that are awesome. So we're going to be going to the LEGO store probably two or three times because we want to get a couple sets come out on August 1st, but we also are super excited for the castle that comes out August 3rd. So let's hope that we can get the sets when they come out because if they run out of stock here, it could be a while before they come back in. So I'm a little nervous, fingers crossed, wish us well. All right, so you saw the line, it got even longer before I got in there, but uh, I was about 30th in line. They had 14 Sanctum Sanctorums and they ran out right before I got in. So I was the 15th in line basically to get a Sanctum Sanctorum, which means I'm not getting one today. That happens. They did say, however, that they are gonna be getting 12 more tomorrow in their truck, in their morning delivery. So I'm gonna head back tomorrow and continue this Lego shopping journey. We are on day two of our Lego shopping now. Day one wasn't so successful, so we're going back. Uh, we're hoping that today, since it's day two, might be a little bit less popular and we'll get the set we're looking for. Hopefully we're further up in line. And as I mentioned yesterday, the Sanctum Sanctorum, they ran out, but they are getting about a dozen or so in today. And so that should mean we, if we're here early enough, we should be able to get one. Right? Yeah. All right. All right, we are down here in our building HQ, also known as our basement, and I'm going to show you what we got at the store today. Check this out. There were a few people in line, as you saw, but I was able to get the Sanctum Sanctorum. I'm really excited to dig into this one. I love modular buildings, and this looks like it'll fit in really well with those. Also, because I spent the threshold, I was able to get another copy of the Forest Hideout. So this is our second one. I think we'll keep this one for now. Maybe do a giveaway a little bit later on. Maybe as we get close to a thousand subscribers, maybe this will be a giveaway. We'll see, find out. But I got this one as well. The line wasn't too long Wednesday morning, which was nice. I was able to be fifth in line to get the set. And I was able to get in the store, take a lot of photos of this inventory at the Beachwood Mall Lego store. Notably, they had the Tumblr. That was hard to find when it came out in October, but they had some of those in stock. They also had, going through the Marvel and DC Comics, a lot of those, along with the new Freight Train. I think it's also interesting that they had plenty of globes in stock. That ran out pretty quickly, and they still have some of the Loop Coaster. That came out in July and sold out pretty quickly. The Camaro, a recent release, that's also back in stock, or still in stock, as were some of the major UCS Star Wars set, including the Millennium Falcon, the at, -AT and the Mos Eisley Cantina. and the gunship as well. I noticed that that was there. They had a pretty good stock of the uh, Technic cars, including the new Ferrari Daytona that was in stock, and they had plenty of the new Minecraft sets as well. So pretty good inventory here. They had, going back to the creator section, uh, like I said, plenty of globes, the Coliseum, the International Space Station, and the shuttle were in stock, as were most of the modulars, uh, I didn't see any bookshops, but they did have Assembly Square and plenty of Ataris. One of the nice things about the August release was the Galaxy Explorer. I was excited to see some of those there. I didn't pick one up, although I was tempted to, but uh, they had a few of those left. And some of the T-Rex breakout sets from Jurassic Park. They had quite a few of the Queer Eye sets as well. Those have not been selling. Those are constantly in stock. When you go in December, they had different spots on the shelf full of those. But it was nice to see some Home Alone sets. Uh, they had about a handful of those in stock on this table right here. They also had some sales going on. In some cases, for up to 20% off of the video stuff, one of the Speed Racer sets. They also had the Disney Castle. Now this one um, just went up in price, but it's going to be retiring soon. So if you want the Disney Castle, check your local Lego store or go online. They had plenty of Disney Princess stuff. 
and they had the Madrigal House from Encanto. That was one that was really hard to find when it came out in January, so it's nice to see that they were able to fill in some of that stock. The Mickey and Minnie Mouse, that set uh, is in stock at our LEGO store, but that hasn't really been a problem to find. The Creator 3-in-1 sets, though, some of those have been tough to find, particularly the Tiger and the Noodle Shop. I think that's going to be coming up here at the bottom of this uh, row of shelves or column of shelves. And so that had that in stock, and that was good to see. And they had the new Viking ship. There's the Noodle Shop. Uh, the Viking ship was in stock as well, but that one, I don't know if it's quite as popular. Speed Champions, they had plenty of those, except for the Aston Martin. If you were looking for that one, that sold out really quickly. The Friends sets were well represented, including some of the more recent releases. In particular, I really like um, the Daycare. That looks similar to the Main Street set that came out in January. It was a fantastic build. They also had, as we move through here, uh, the art studio and the vacation home. Again, that one looks like the Main Street set, so that uh, was some nice inventory as well. They had some of the small vehicles in stock for the friend sets. Those typically aren't too hard to find, at least when they come out. And they had, of course, the glamping set, which uh, I'm not personally a big fan of glamping, but so be it. They also, oh, the theater school, that was nice to see in stock as well. That one I've, I've noticed uh, has uh, had some positive traction with fans. Moving over to dots, I didn't see lots of dots. They had some of the more recent stuff in there, but not anything uh, that was, you know, the really exciting, for me at least, lots of dot sets. Um, and you can kind of see that here. They have a lot of different inventory, but perhaps not that one. They had a lot of sets on display, which was nice to see, but the front display hadn't changed all that much. I didn't take a picture of it, but uh, I know they were looking to put the castle out soon, but they hadn't gotten there. In the city sets, plenty of fire sets, but notably for the August release, they had the trains. I did see some people purchase those on Monday and Tuesday, but they still had some in stock. The space station sets for city, that those are in stock, which were kind of hard to find earlier this year at the Beachwood store. Uh, they also had a lot of stunts. I know uh, right here we're looking at some of those. They had some of the new stunts sets as well, and people were excited for that. The Harry Potter sets, those are in stock. The Dumbledore's Office, that was out of stock on day one when it came out, as was 12 Grimald Place. And the Horntail, those all sold out pretty quickly at our Beachwood Mall store, uh, but they had those. Also the Hogwarts icons and the massive Harry Potter Hogwarts castle. Those are in stock and the castle I know is probably retiring soon. So again, check out your local Lego store. And ours had Diagon Alley. That's one that's been hard to find. I know it's been out for a little bit, but isn't always in stock. Super Mario sets were there, including the Nintendo Entertainment System. That was a fun one to see. They also had quite a few Ataris still in stock, and that one was on display. It looked fantastic. They were sold out of some of the Brickheads, you can see here with the Pugs, uh, but they did have some of the more recent sets for the Brickheads as well. That wraps up the inventory. Let's head to the outro. I spent a lot of time at the Lego store the last three days. That's my last trip to the store in a while, but I'm excited because man, I was able to get the castle and it's a massive, massive box, massive set. And I'm really excited to build this one and we'll see how long it takes to build. But successful trip, I'll enjoy this one. So after three trips, three days, lots of waiting in line for Lego sets, I got these. I'm super excited. It's over 7,500 pieces. So that means I've got a lot of building to do and hope that you are also able to enjoy some building in the month of August. And I appreciate you watching. Make sure you like the video, subscribe. Please subscribe, everybody. And always remember, keep building together.